Today is a new opportunity to accomplish your incredible. So let's wake up each day with a fresh mindset necessary for you to win. I welcome you to Rise and Shine. Morning motivation for the girl boss with author, speaker, and founder of the Prestige Society, Nicole Doss. Let's jumpstart your morning now. Good morning and rise and shine. This is your girl, Nicole Doss. I'm so excited that we have another opportunity to be able to just live our life on purpose. I'm so excited that we have another opportunity to create businesses in our purpose and help others realize they're incredible through our businesses. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today we're going to talk about the importance of dreaming and I really think that we have been programmed to believe that we really can only accomplish a certain level of success. And so because we only believe that we can accomplish a certain level of success, the way that we think or dream about our business is with a cap on it. So today, I want you to tap into your incredible I always talk about helping women accomplish their incredible, but I don't think people really understand what I mean by that. I want you to really allow yourself the freedom to dream as big as you want with your business. I want you to truly believe that you have the ability to have an abundance of resources, an abundance of all types of things that you would need to be able to help your tribe. I want you to believe that now you are in this space where you are in the prep stage of your business, preparing you for all of those awesome, wonderful, big, incredible dreams that you are going to turn into reality. But in order for you to have the ability to dream big, There's a lot of work that you have to do in freeing yourself of constraints or restraints that have been placed on you since you were younger. As you know, if you go back and think about you as a young child, you thought big, you dreamed big. I think I was telling my mom um, just this past weekend that when I used to think about who I was going to become as a young girl, I used to dream extremely big. So there was, and I wanted to be things that sounded really awesome. So I had no idea what an aeronautical engineer was, but I knew I was going to be one. I had no idea what a surgeon was, but I knew I was going to be that too. Oh, and I was going to be a dancer and I was going to be a singer and I was going to be an actress. So I was going to be all these really big things all concurrently. Like I was going to do it all at the same time because I could, because I thought I could, so that meant that I really could. And as you become older, as you grow into adulthood, as you become more and more jaded by things that happen in your life, you then begin to tell yourself what you cannot do. So you cannot be all those things at the same time. If you're not great at math, guess what? Instead of working hard at it, you tell yourself, no, if I'm not good at math and science, then I not going to be good uh, at becoming a doctor, um, even if you think that's something you're passionate about. And so as you begin to have more limiting beliefs, as you begin to place more constraints over your life, you then begin to think small. You begin to live small. You begin to act small. You begin to dream small. And so it's really important for us to be in this space where we truly live in purpose, where we believe that we have the ability to do great things, that we believe we have the ability to really live this incredible life and to be able to have this incredible brand that's allowing us to be a blessing to others that we are serving. So with that, you know I want to give you three tips on how you're going to begin to dream big because like I said, it takes work. So today, the first thing I want you to do is I want you first to allow yourself to do the meditation that we talked about and doing it in a way 
where you're able to dream big. Meditate on it in a way where you're able to see the incredible. And I know it's going to make you nervous because that's your body's natural response or the gremlin's natural response to keeping you safe and small. When I first practiced this, I remember thinking that in order for this wonderful thing to happen, something bad had to have happened as well. I, ha- I thought that, oh my God, I got laid off. I must have gotten laid off again because there's no way I left a job to do this and there's no way you just go from leaving a job to having this great business. Who thinks like that? Like, that's crazy talk. Why would you even wish or think or believe or meditate on something negative over your business? And I remember having an accountability partner and she said to me, why are you afraid of success? Because literally my heart began to race and I didn't want to try to visualize or meditate on those things at all anymore. And I just stopped. You have to allow yourself the freedom to dream big. So allow yourself some time as you're meditating to just imagine what would your brand be like if you had unlimited resources, if you had, you know, just all of the the people, staff, the team, the money, um, access that you needed in order for you to be able to live your incredible, what would that be like? So just take some time to imagine what life would be like if you had unlimited resources with your brand. Just imagine. Once you do that and you're in the space where you imagine, pray around what are the steps that you need to take in order for this to happen. I truly believe that if God gives you a vision, if God gives you something that he places into your spirit, then I love what Amir Khan says. And he says, you know, life is like this huge puzzle where God gives you all of the pieces, but he gives them to you at different times in your life. And it's your job to place all the pieces together. So if you are in the space where you are going to really um, spend the time to, to allow yourself the freedom to dream big, now I want you to really pray and meditate and ask for discernment, ask for direction, ask for guidance, ask for awareness, because sometimes you guys are so walking this life as a zombie, you can't even see the opportunities that are laying in front of you. You're too busy focused on things that are meant to distract you. You're too focused on things that are meant to um, keep you small. You're too focused on things that were meant to deter you from your purpose by focusing on things that are not going to allow you to be able to thrive and build a brand on purpose. So you're too focused on what you don't have. You're too focused on where you aren't with your business. You're too focused on where someone is with their business. And so doing all of those things are keeping you distracted from living your best life in your purpose, creating your best business in your purpose. So I want you to pray and meditate on how am I going to be, you know, aware of, of what really is right for me. Please allow me to have the right people come into my space, but give me the spirit of discernment so I know who those right people are so that I know how to protect myself from people who have negative energy or toxic energy. I know how to protect my brand from people who have toxic or negative energy. Once you're in that space where you're praying, make sure you have the courage to take that step into execution because nothing can live in the face of concept. You, you, you don't want to just live in, in that conceptual stage, right? You, you want to be able to move from conception to reality. And you're able to make that movement or that transition into that space only through execution. You're able to move into that space through actually taking action. But if you don't know how to take action because you haven't done the second step of praying and meditating, then you don't know what to do. So remember, the first thing I want you to do is have the freedom to dream and truly imagine what that looks like for you. When you have all the resources, people, and access available to you with your brand, what does that look like? Two, I want you to be able to meditate and pray so that you know what you need to do for step number three. Step number three is moving into action. All right, guys? 
So I so thank you for spending your morning with me. I so thank you for just rising and shining with me. I hope that you have an awesome, wonderful, and powerful day. Bye.